Hello friends, you're on the Gradient channel. The topic of this video will be welding aluminium using a semi-automatic welding machine. Usually, aluminium is welded using organ arc welding, but there are situations when aluminium welding needs to be done with a semi-automatic welding machine. In the video, we'll talk about the welding process itself, how to prepare and give tips for novice welders. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Aluminium welding is one of the most difficult welding processes. The metal itself is refractory. After all, there is an oxide film on aluminium. The melting point of the oxide film is more than 2000 degrees Celsius and the melting point of aluminium is 630-660 degrees, depending on the composition. Aluminium is used in many areas because the metal itself has a strong, lightweight and corrosion-resistant structure. Aluminium comes in different alloys. In the video, we will give general recommendations on how to work with this metal regardless of the alloy of the structure. Typically, aluminium is welded using alternating current organ arc welding. However, aluminium can be welded with conventional semi-automatic welding machine using aluminium wire. This method is used to weld aluminium with a thickness of 3 mm or more. To weld thin sheet metal 1-3 mm thick, you need serious skills in this mode. Let's start with recommendations for choosing a semi-automatic device. Any semi-automatic device with a maximum operating current of 200 amperes or more is suitable for welding aluminium. It is desirable that the semi-automatic device has a pulse mode and synergistic settings for welding aluminium. This will help in setting up the machine. Welding takes place in reverse polarity. This is due to the fact that an oxide film forms on the surface of this metal. In reverse polarity, the film is destroyed by cathodic spray. The device settings are selected depending on the situation. Usually, a current of 50-70 ampere is set for 1 meter. We will show an example of the settings during preparation for welding. Let's talk about converting a semi-automatic welding machine for aluminium. Change the feed roller to a U-shaped groove. Such a roller deforms the wire less during operation. Separately, we replace the metal channel with a Teflon one. The Teflon channel is softer and more solid and provides minimal resistance to aluminium wire. Install a special tip for feeding aluminium wire A and AL markings because aluminium wire expands during welding. In addition, it is advisable to install a larger nozzle for gas supply. The purpose of these modifications is to improve the feeding of soft aluminium wire and reduce the risk of wire breakage. The gas used is argon or a mixture of argon and helium for thicknesses of 12 mm and more. Consumable material – aluminium wire with the same composition as the workpiece alloy. The next important point is to set the gas pressure on the cylinder. If the pressure is too low, there will be insufficient gas. Oxygen or other gases will enter the shielding medium, which will affect the quality and strength of the weld and leave visible pores. Too much pressure will cause gas overconsumption and problems with arc control. In addition, the weld pool will cool too much. This will also spoil the quality and strength of the weld. Gas flow rate from 14 per 1 minute. The next section will be the most important. After all, it concerns the preparation of aluminium for welding. It is advisable to remove the chamfers. If the metal is 4 mm thick or more, chamfering will help to better melt the workpiece. Be sure to prepare the welding surface. Warm up the aluminium surface with a gas torch or degrease it with a solvent and clean the oxide film with a metal brush. We do not recommend cleaning aluminium with abrasive wheels. After cleaning, Abrasive particles will remain on the workpiece, causing the aluminium to burn and blacken. There is no need to clean the welding wire. Before welding, warm up the joint again and start welding immediately. Keep in mind that aluminium is a highly conductive metal and cools down quickly. 
Let's move on to general recommendations for beginners and experienced welders. For beginners, we recommend welding metal with a thickness of at least 3 mm and using wire with a diameter of 1 mm or 1.2 mm. Working with 0.8 mm wire requires considerable skill, as the wire may often get jammed between the roller and the wire feeder inside the Teflon channel. Be sure to check that all the conversion conditions are met, as failure to do so may complicate or impair the welding process. The wire feed should be several times faster than when welding a low alloy steel because aluminium wire melts much faster. Cleaning the weld seam is an important process. Always keep the torch cable straight so that the aluminium wire can pass freely and without additional resistance. The torch tip should be positioned 3 mm inside the nozzle. The distance between the nozzle and the workpiece should be 8-13 mm. The wire extension from the tip should be 2-3 times greater than when welding steel ranging from 10 to 15 mm in order to avoid burning the tip. Now, friends, let's move on to the welding process. We will weld with the Akamig 160 PET machine from Megatech. The thickness of the aluminium is 4 mm. The wire diameter is 1 mm. Let's move on to setting up the machine. This device has a synergy from setting up aluminium welding and the pulse mode, which is an additional advantage for the welder. Let's start the welding process by preparing the parts. It is necessary to chamfer, degrease or heat the metal. We clean the metal with a metal brush to remove the oxide film. For novice welders, it is better to start with an overlap seam. Light the arc at a 90-degree angle. The movement of the torch is from right to left. The workpiece ignites and a weld pool appears. Move the weld pool, mixing the metal along the entire length of the weld. Move the torch evenly. The movement of the torch will depend on the desired result. But we recommend starting with a straight, uniform movement of the torch and controlling the weld pool every 5-6 mm of the weld. Remember that aluminium melts quite quickly and the feed rate is many times faster, so the torch movement itself should be at least two times faster to avoid burning the workpiece. Welding results on the screen. When welding aluminium, there is no guarantees to avoid cracks in the weld. However, there are certain recommendations to avoid cracks after welding. The welding wire should be of the same metal as the workpiece. Aluminium needs to be properly prepared before welding. Proper fixation of parts is important, not too tight, but not too loose. To avoid cracks, you can weld in darts or in short intervals for better cooling of the aluminium. Be careful at the end of the weld, a crater will degrade the quality of the weld and may cause a crack. This type of welding requires practice. With practice and following all the rules, you will definitely get the desired result. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Subscribe to our channel and other social networks. See you soon.